Crystal Worms Tag Channel here, and today I'm been to be about Fortnite, so I'm on FortniteWinner.com here. So could Fortnite be coming back to the iPhone this year? Uh, we will see about that. Um, so uh, so Epic C E so Epic C E O tweets out a prediction tweet that Fortnite will return to the iPhone this year. So. Uh, pretty interesting there. Uh, so if you guys don't know, uh, the Fortnite was available on the iPhone a couple years ago, but they removed it for some reason. Um, it was also available on Android via uh, Google Play Store probably like two years ago, but before that you had to sideload Fortnite on Android, uh, which was a pain in the ass to deal with, and a lot of people, and a lot of people didn't uh, feel comfortable having unknown sources check to download Fortnite on Android because that was a security risk so uh, this is pretty interesting hopefully that this is true but we will have to wait and see so I'm just saying that this is just a rumor for right now so keep that in mind so take this as a rumor so uh, yeah so it says here Apple use Apple iPhone users used to installed the popular Fortnite game on their iOS powered handsets from the App Store until developer Epic Games wanted to offer players the opportunity to save some money on the purchase of in-game currency. So it offered Fortnite players the option to purchase in-app items from its own app storefront, which means that they would avoid having to pay the 15% to 30% quote tax on in-app purchases Apple charges for using its in-app payment platform but hey here's there's the rope Apple doesn't allow app Apple doesn't allow developers to use other in-app payment platforms to use to be used with the App Store so when the Fortnite app gave players an option to pay via the App Store for 1,000 V Bucks priced at 9.99 or pay 7.99 for the same purchase using Epic's direct payment platform, a 20% discount. Alarm bells rang at Apple's headquarters. Apple kicked Fortnite and Epic out of the App Store. A lawsuit resulted in a mixed decision by the judge and Apple appealed the ruling. We now await the results of the appeal and there is talk of this case going all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. But in the meantime, Apple is being forced to allow sideloading in the EU thanks to the Digital Markets Act or DMA. I guess that's a European Union law I guess it's a pretty interesting there that means that in Europe iPhone users will be able to install apps on their iPhones that are sourced from third party app stores like Epic Games here for an example as a result iPhone users will be allowed to install Fortnite on their handsets so here's a tweet from Epic CEO he tweeted, it, he tweeted this out on New Year's Eve Next year on iOS. So it looks like Fortnite might be coming back to the iPhone this year. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but you can play uh, Fortnite on GeForce now on the iPhone. It, it, I mean, if you guys want to do that for for, for the meantime, uh, I will have links to the GeForce Now app for Android and iOS down below and all that good stuff. So check it out. Check out all the links below for this here. So, yeah. So then there's the tweet there. I will have links to that tweet as well. So if you guys want to uh, check it out and more closely, I will try to get a link to that tweet. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this possible workaround didn't escape Epic CEO Tim Sweeney, who this is who disseminated a tweet on New Year's Eve that said quote next year next year on iOS end quote Apple most likely isn't going to give in 
and reinstate Fortnite's App Store listing. Sweeney certainly knows this and is referring to the strong possibility that iPhone users will be able to sideload the game to install it on iPhone models. So you guys would have probably to sideload the uh, Fortnite game on your iPhone, which that's what Android users had to do when they first came out. Because when Fortnite came to mobile devices, they went to uh, they went to iOS first. And you guys could get it on the App Store, and then Android. You had to sideload it on the Android. You, you you had it on. You had to check online sources and stuff like that. Uh, and and that's a security risk. Sideloading stuff from third party from third party places. So that's a uh, security risk. So keep that in mind. So do that at your own risk. Um. There's a little screen here, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. So I said this option, giving Fortnite users the option to avoid Apple's in-app processing platform is what got Fortnite kicked out of the App Store. Yeah, so the Fortnite app, it gave users options to get in-app items in the uh, game, uh, but uh, it gave um, users uh, like uh, payment options and stuff like that or whatever. And then, so they did that so they could avoid Apple's uh, in-app pr uh, processing uh, platforms, which Apple and that's a big thing on Apple. Apple wants everything to go through them, obviously. Um, Apple wants some of that money. They want like a cut of it, obviously. So, can't understand that, but you know, and that's how Fortnite got kicked off the App Store, and that's why the only way to play Fortnite on the iPhone or Android is through GeForce Now. So, says so at first we wondered whether Apple might cave to Epic's. At first, we wondered whether Apple would keep to Epic, considering it might not have an opportunity to block the sideloading of Fortnite in Europe. And Apple could say that since it is considered that, and Apple could say that since it is concerned with its customers installing infected, uh, infected apps through sideloading. Like I said, that is a security risk. So do that. Um, do that. Um, at your own risk. It will allow Fortnite to return to the App Store, but does that really sound like Apple to you, or is it more likely that Apple will continue to maintain its position and hope that it wins the appeal? The latter certainly sounds more like something that Apple would do. So um. Yeah, so could Fortnite return to the iPhone this year? It's possible. I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen. But take this as a rumor. Just take, it as, just take it as a rumor. Just take it as like a grain of salt or whatever. But hopefully it does though. Because I'm sure that a lot of iPhone users would like that. And hopefully that goes on the App Store. And that there would, people would have to avoid sideloading the game. Because some people might not know how to sideload stuff on their phones which you have to be careful of doing stuff like that you have to be careful because of security risk you don't know what you're downloading if you think you're downloading the real thing could be a uh, an infectious app or whatever so you gotta be careful with sideloading shit on android and ios you have to be careful so download the shit from the play store or the apple app store because that's like a, it is infectious so, um, yeah, I think hopefully this does happen, though, because, I mean, I think, um, iPhone users would enjoy that. Hopefully, uh, Fortnite returns to the Google Play Store, too. Uh, not just the iPhone, but Android as well. Because you could get Fortnite on the Play Store a couple of years ago, but now you can't get 
Fortnite at all, you would have to sideline it on Android, or you, you can play it on GeForce Now. So, um, you do have a couple options to play Fortnite on uh, Android and iOS. So, um, yeah, so if you guys want uh, Fortnite on back on iPhone and Android, let me know down below. I'm sure that you guys would probably want that. I personally, yeah, why not? Um, I have an Android phone, obviously, so hopefully it comes back to Android. So we'll see about that. And we'll see if it comes back to iPhones as well. We'll see. But as of right now, this is just a rumor, grain of salt type of thing. So keep, keep that in mind. And, uh, and and don't get your hopes up and don't and don't give your hopes up either but like I said you do have options to play Fortnite on Android and iOS via GeForce Now so that's always something to consider as well so uh yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up guys it blessed me a lot please rate comment subscribe thank you very much for watching my video and I will catch you guys in the next one peace out